your host for tonight. Okay. Um, so there's a, a an announcement that I want to make before we continue with the with the introduction part that this meeting will be recorded and there's some technical glitch due to which um, most of the people are unable to join. We are trying to figure uh, we are trying to figure that out and I hope uh, we are able to before the meeting ends. Uh, so Amal, apologies for that and thank you for your patience. Thank you so much. Um, all right, coming to the part uh, whereby I would just like to welcome every, everyone uh, to the 15th conversation hour by DCW, which is a monthly open conversation hour, and it's open for anyone in the world. And this is an initiative which has been started by DCW, um, Devan Community Wikimedia, which is a recognized user group affiliate of the Wikimedia Foundation. It takes its name uh, from the uh, from the Islamic seminary and it aims it aims at improving Wikipedia and its sister projects with knowledge and information related to uh, not only the global Muslim academia, but also uh, to history, culture at a global level and in all languages. Uh, so with that, I would like to um, introduce our very special guest tonight. I'm really excited to see her here today. Amal, so good to see you and uh, welcome uh, to this conversation hour. Uh, and I, I think Amal is someone who um, I've met at the conference, but to the people who don't know her, she is a senior community relations specialist at the Wikimedia Foundation, where she supports the iOS and Android app teams, bridging the gap between users' experiences and requests to enhance the app. Um, Amal, as I see, Amal is a multilingual Wikimedian and has a passion for connecting with people across culture. Uh, tonight, let's hear her out. And I open the floor to you, Amal. Um, you can begin your presentation, the conversation. And I'm certain it's going to be really amazing listening to you. Thank you so much, Afaf. Actually, it was a really pleasant surprise for me to find out that you will be like um, managing <laughs> this this conversation and this <laughs> like a plus one to me attending this call. Um, as Afaf said, um, I'm Amal Ramadan. Um, I'm I'm based in Cairo, in Egypt, and uh, I have been working in the foundation like for almost two years now. I'm working in supporting the Wikipedia mobile applications team, both Android and iOS. And I really love to show people, and especially Wikimedian users, how it's amazing to start using um, the applications that will facilitate your experience way more than the other tools. So, um, Namra, I sent you the presentation. Can someone just start sharing the screen? Okay. Uh, oh, uh, it's asking me to access, to have, you know, access to the document. So I'm not able yeah. to view it on the system. Uh, I shared it with the email that Namra shared with me, and I'm giving you the request right now. I just didn't check my email since I joined the, the, the call, so I'm going to... Um, approve your request just right now. Okay. 
and done from my side. Uh, okay, it is still saying that access has been de declined. I'm not sure why it is so. I accepted the, the sharing and I, I clearly uh, review. Okay, share. Share. How about now? Okay, it works. Just give me a second. I, I will just show it up. It's okay, take your time. At least we have a couple of minutes until other users will join, inshallah. Thank you. I guess it is showing up perfect. Yes, we can see this um, really perfect. So yeah, um, I'd like to ask you what comes to your mind when you hear the word or the sentence Wikipedia mobile apps, because um, not all of users are aware that there is like an Android and iOS mobile applications for Wikipedia. So I want to know what comes to your mind when you hear it. Just like simple words in the chat, or if you wanna like raise your hand and participate with the sentence, I'd love to hear your voices. Anyone? Uh, I would like to go, Amal. When you mentioned it, for me, uh, as, as someone just like, someone who doesn't know about it it seems like an easier version of the same like something that is not as um, heavy as a file would be in a computer seems like an easier version of the same application yes exactly and more we are having the sentence um, sent to the chat dedicated app for wikimedia projects yes but i'm, I'm especially working and uh, supporting the, the wikipedia apps team so in order to know um why the foundation and to create these applications let's rewind from the start so why did the foundation take an action to create the apps team so um, do you remember at the beginning when the mobile applications started to be uh, like arising technology and almost all of the websites started to create apps to compete with today's technology? So we found out that there are many fake Wikipedia apps. We didn't even know um, who, who was running them. And they started to ask users for subscription fees. And this is when the foundation found out that it's an essential step to um, keep pace and facilitate reading and editing to our users through official applications. So um, next slide, please. Our Android app hit plus 15 million downloads and our iOS version is plus 15 million downloads. So what I want to ask from you is to um, have your mobile devices right now and start downloading Wikipedia mobile applications because I'm gonna ask you to do something during the presentation. Okay, so next slide, please. As you can see from the screenshots that the mobile applications present the same experience that you can have from the web versions, but in the cards uh, format, in the format of cards. And plus to the format cards thing, it gives you like um, a personalized user experience because um, you're owning and you're having your own device, your own mobile in your hand and you're choosing the article you will read. And um, you are, if you, if you are an Android user, you get to open different tabs and get to it again. And um, I, I really interested in hearing more feedbacks from you when you started to uh, use the applications more often than usual and than before. Next slide. Oh. 
no, the previous ones, the ones with the, yes, exactly. So um, when we started, or the foundation started to work on creating the apps, um, the apps went through four phases. So the first one, which lasted for two years, it was the launch phase. And the objective was to introduce basic apps, transitioning from web to mobile. And that's it. But for reading phase that started from two, 2016 and um, went it for two years, our objective was to target our power readers to say that, hey, you can read Wikipedia articles through the application on your device. And then after receiving so many requests asking for um, adding editing uh, features to the app, we started to make it possible from 2018 till 2020. And then we started the final phase, the collaboration phase, the one that we are in actually during now, which is enabling the full wiki workflow by adding communication, collaboration features. And these features are prioritized by our existing communities. And um, we're also working on adding notifications, talk pages, history, and different versions uh, before and after the edits. Um, you can say that this journey showcases the continuous um, evolution of Wikipedia apps, adapting to user needs and enhancing the overall user experience. Because, and listen to this from me, before the beginning of the fiscal year, we started to gather all the feature requests that we received from our users. And I will tell you how at the end of the presentation. And then we see how to engage these features in the goals that we're working on on the next fiscal year. So it's all coming back to you from the community and to the community. Because the thing is, um, phones are personal devices. Apps are personal software, and apps have the power to connect people to each other in a way that no website or a browser will ever do. And we understand this very well. Next, please. So who uses Wikipedia applications? Readers, which is normal. It was the reason why we started creating the app. And um, we offer more user-friendly and streamlined experience for accessing Wikipedia content on smartphones and tablets as well. But also we target editors because um, editors in Wikipedia, um, they tend to utilize the apps to contribute on the go, allowing them to edit, update, enhance even articles from various locations using just their mobile devices and become an efficient tool to engage new editors who don't have desktops. And this is like something uh, we can say that we face in um, Africa and Asia as well. And finally, we can say donors. So um, donation uh, by using the Wikipedia mobile application, it's like um, a seamless donor experience throughout the ad that we worked on, especially um, to have the feature released before that or during the, the big English campaign to the last year. Next. So these are the features that we're working on during the current fiscal year. As you can see, the sentences that have underlined, these are features we already released, but we're still working on the rest of them. So um, I, I requested from you to download the app. So can you please download the app and open your mobile application just right now and try to uh, the find the places feature. It's the, the nearest feature that we released it to the Android version. And it's already there if you have an iOS version. And I want you to share with me the nearest article to a place that's near you on the map. Just to drop it and in the chat or just name the, the article if you don't uh, get to drop the link. I'm going to do it too. I'm going to do it and I, I'm going to uh, drop the link in the chat as well. Let's have two minutes to start to do this.
and here is this is mine. The nearest place that has an article to my place right now in Cairo, it's a Melbourne College, Egypt. It's an international school. I'm curious to find what you can um, find as the nearest places to your place. Maybe I can continue with the rest of the features and please add yours when you have it. Okay. Thank you, Afi. I think people are figuring out a bit. I'm sure they'll drop uh, their text as they see and find the feature that you're talking about. I too am doing the same. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah. It's just giving the user this worldwide experience that you can find and reach any place that could be near to you or in or in um, any other places on the whole universe. You can have access to the uh, place in another country and read about this and find pictures about this. So um, I was a real advocate one to this feature when we started working on this. <laughs> And this is your nearest location. You're lucky to find this at the nearest location. Yeah, so you can find that the, the features that has an underline under um, the, these sentence, these are already released features, but the rest of them, we're still working on them. Um, and they, inshallah, will be completed by the end of the current fiscal year before next um, July. So um, as an Android user, you will be able to find widgets and as an iOS user, you will be able to find recommended content to um, read on, on, the, uh, on the application. And this is when it comes to reading phase or reading users. But for the editing users, now you can actually start patrolling and phase vandalism. Um, this uh, this um, feature is only released to users with rollback rights and will be released to all of them. Uh, wikis by the end of this fiscal year it's now available in the um, Indonesian wiki French one Spanish one and will be uh, available to the English and Igbo wiki during the next month and then it will be released to all the wikis so rollback rights users will have more um, an easier way to face vandalism and follow and supervise editing on the go and then you will be able as an editor to create a page on the Android app. And while you can find suggested edits on Android app, while well, you can do something on the go. I remember in the last conference of Wiki Women Camp, I found one of the women who, are, who were attending from Africa. She said that she is using the suggested edits and the Android version um, as a game while she is in the transportation or she is waiting for her doctor appointment or so. So we're bringing the same feature to the iOS. And then we will be working on the ID masking on iOS as well. For donors now, this is just it. You can donate through using the application through the uh, uh, Play Store or the, the um, App Play system without the need to open Wikipedia itself. So next slide, please. I'm happy that the conversation is still going in the chat about the nearest places to you. Yeah, so um, how do you engage more with the apps team? How do you know more about the work that we do? We have our newsletter and um, I'm dropping the link in the chat right now. We have the newsletter every quarter. So you will find all the details and all the summary for the work that we have been doing during the past quarter and an announcement for what we'll be working during the next one as well. Next slide, please. So um, as you can see, um, this is the, the mobile applications team and it's easily um, seen that you can find me, the one with the hijab and the glasses as well. So um, I pasted the link of the apps newsletter and I'm going to paste the link of the places uh, project 
page on MediaWiki as well, because as I told you, it's the latest feature we released for the Android version. And actually, South Asia is one of the most um, places or regions that we're concentrating on. You can find even the page translated into um, Hindi and Urdu. And this is my email. If you having um, any bug, any feature um, suggestion, or even any idea that you would like to deliver to the app team, or just you want to drop and say hi, I'll be more than happy to find your message. This is my email. You can reach out to me at any time. And finally, next slide, please, and final slide. As you can see, these are uh, positive feedback and comments that we received from uh, the app users from all over the world. I don't know if there's a Hindi or Urdu language. Can you see any? I can see Arabic and I can see English. Um, there is Japanese or Chinese, but I don't read either of them. We're always here to listen to you. Thank you for the chance for being here and um, Maybe next time you will send us um, Hindi and or the comments in order uh, to add them into this screenshot to this slide. I'd be more than happy to update you with it later. So I will consider this a deal of you. And um, this is my presentation. I'm all ears for your questions, comments, and feedbacks. All right. Uh, thank you, Amal, for this enriching uh, presentation. I think people who are not aware of um, the ones who are not aware of how to use the uh, Wikipedia app through the uh, through the Android and the iOS system have surely gained from what uh, you have just told us, shown us, and also asked to download the app. So I'm sure the people who are here uh, in the meeting have. Uh, at least downloaded the app and would uh, try to use it for editing. Um, and now I would like to request everyone in the uh, meeting, if, if you have any questions, feedback, comments, um, to add on to the conversation, we are more than happy and the floor is open. Please feel free to ask the questions, queries, anything that you want to put up. And even if you want to ask for a certain feature that you would like to have in order to make the usage to the, the Wikipedia mobile application easier for you, we're like open to hear it and we'll be more than happy to include it in our work during the next fiscal year. Okay, so I do have a question. Okay. And it is more about uh, the challenges that uh, you know, mobile contributors face. Where and how could they get in touch or share their experiences about or the tools that they cannot access on the mobile? How does your team work on that? Yes. I was just going to say that your voice is echoing. So please, would you like turn off the voice on one of the accounts that you're using and joining oh. this meeting or even write the question in the chat? Oh, okay, it should work now. Yes, it's working now. So you were asking okay. about the challenges, what? Uh, so I was asking about the challenges that mobile users face because, you know, a lot of necessary tools they either come a lot of options so they would accidentally click roll back etc so how mm. does the mobile app solve this problem i haven't used it previously so i'm curious to know yes yeah, so i'm gonna divide the answer into two sections Afi. the first one is and the challenges that users um, face when it comes to the size of the mobile device and this is something we really can't like work on because some users find it challenging to edit and this small like space that you have on your hands. So we don't have really something really to do with this. 
So there are some challenges that comes with the nature of the mobile devices or the apps nature. And this is something we can do, um, think actually about. But the second part of the um, answer, it's related to the challenges that you would do, like um, creating the page, for example, uh, on the web version, this is something that's not even available till now on the apps team. But as soon as we received the um, reviews from editors who are saying like, I want to create an article on the mobile device or on the mobile application, but I'm not allowed to. So we come to organize the challenges that we receive from different users and add it into its special sections. So this creating um, a new page, for example, think it's in the editing section. Uh, maybe some users are asking for um, uh, transform text to speech so that they can listen to Wikipedia while they are using Wikipedia mobile applications. So this is in the reading section. And there's other editors who are asking for um, a fast or a similar or a simpler tool that they can use in order to roll back, as you mentioned, or face vandalism. So this is in the editing section. And then we start working on these challenges during the fiscal year. Um, you can say that it comes from um, the goals that we're working on. So if the foundation, for example, is the main goal for the apps team during this fiscal year will be making the editing easier. So the priority will be for the challenges that face the editors while they are using the apps. So that's why we keep asking, what do you think about this? What's your feedback about using these different features? We would love to hear from you because hearing from users is actually what draws the roadmap for us. So all of the uh, features that we're working on right now to solve some similar challenges that other users reported, yeah, we're working on them, but we want to hear from you all the time so that we can draw the roadmap for the next fiscal year. So please, if you had um, like tried the application and you found out that there are some challenges that you as an editor or a reader would love to ask, we're here to help you and to do this. Because as I told you, the app started as a reading experience, and we're good at this. We're presenting a seamless reading experience to the users, but now we're transforming our app from a reading app to an editing app. So we really want to hear from you. Please try this and let us know what you think about this. I hope like I made it clear, but as I told you that challenge, it depends whether we can help with it or it's related to something we need to work during our fiscal year plan. Mm, um, thank you. This was, you know, a very good clarification. I hope we could, you know, make the best of it in future. Yeah, thank you so much for this. And actually, I would like to um, like tell you, and this is based wallahi, on my work experience that the apps team, we don't have like, um, how can I say, disappointed users because we're not working on something the users are not asking for. Actually, we design our whole work plan based on the feature requests and the comments and feedback that we receive from users. You can reach out to us through the um, my email because I'm I'm the one who is um working with the with the community users and deliver their voices to the um, apps engineers who are working on coding and creating the features. Uh, you can also send what you think through the Wikipedia support emails. So if you're having an Android or iOS device, um an application, you can just text the support and I receive these requests these um, comments and feedbacks and I work on archiving them in order to have like a list at the end of the year that there are, are the areas that we need to develop more and work more and pay attention to more because our users are asking for this. So be totally like sure that what you will ask for you will find if not during the same fiscal year that you're asking about it will be the next one. I do remember that one of our users, uh, Android users, sent an email during last August, and he was um, asking that the card, the, there is a card that similar actions or similar situations that happened on this day history. 
it wasn't available in Turkish language. Actually, we created a Fabricator. Fabricator, it's the software tracking system that we're working on. And this uh, feature is now released to the whole Turkish community, to the whole Turkish wiki, because of this user who just raised this flag for this. So there's another question. Hi, I'm, I want to know, is the current focus specific to English Wikipedia or is this multilingual? I have translated some interface, Kashmiri language, but don't see the proper RTL interface. Yeah, so we don't focus on uh, wikis based on language. We focus on um, features and then by the user's um, number of usage, that we know through our data um, analysis in the team, we start like focusing on some regions. So for example, when we started to receive requests saying that, hey, we need the places feature back to, back to the Android system, we found out that um, the South Asian region, it's really the region that we need to focus on. That's why we actually participated in the last call for the South Asian users to announce the feature for them. So we don't focus on languages, we focus on uh, features. But since you asked this, I'm dropping my email round now in the chat. So can I ask you please to send me the details of the, um, the Kashmiri language translation that you added with the link so that I can create a ticket and follow with our software engineers to take it to the uh, deployment phase if this is, yeah. Thank you so much for this. I'm trying to also to search for the, uh, this Turkish request that uh, I'm, I'm telling you about because this is really one of the success stories that I witnessed. This is just from a user who sent an email to the support email, the Android support email asking and questioning why he can't find his language in the Turkish language and, um, and the cards of the on this day card. And it was like on the 4th of August last year. And this was resolved last week. So we have been working on this like from August to March. And this is now deployed to all the Turkish speakers all around, all around the world because of this initiative that this reader, he is actually not editor, he is just a reader. And now it's available to all of them. So, so it seems like someone has to take the initiative first. Anyways, yes, I have uh, another question. Sure. And it is, uh about statistics yeah uh how much of contributors use the wikipedia app in comparison to using you know the mobile browsers like chrome and safari or other mobile browsers yeah so um i don't really have exact numbers because our data analyst um uh, team made in the apps team she can get the numbers for the users who are using the app as i mentioned the number of downloads at the beginning of the presentation but we don't have access to the web um, version users but I'm, I'm pretty sure that they are a lot than the users who are using the, the wikipedia mobile applications and that's why we're trying to raise the awareness about how it's easy and um, convenient to the um, mobile users to use the Wikipedia mobile application instead of the browser because it has more lack of bugs that you can face and it's making the, the browsing um, experience easier for you because as I, as I said in the presentation, you have the whole web experience, but in the format of an application, which is makes sense to using the mobile application, but there are many more than, um, the Wikipedia uh, mobile application users. So user 511, <laughs> um, um, I'm happy that you can see that the language and if there are like um, any other comments or feedback that you would like to deliver to us, especially to the interface language, uh, we would love to have your help in translating this. And actually, from time to time, we need uh, help in, in having translations for languages that the, the, the foundation is not supporting. Like, for example, if you open the page of the Places project page on MediaWiki, 
um, it wasn't easy to find an Urdu user to translate it so that you will find that it's not fully translated because it's a work of volunteers. So to find you and know that we have someone to reach out if we needed anything related to the Kashmiri language, this is really interesting for us. Thank you for this. Um, Amal, I had a question uh, regarding sure. <laughs> regarding uh, the conversation that is going on, and I think I'm going to the basics, uh, back to the basics, uh, whereby I just want to know that um, you just mentioned about the awareness and the ease of using the app. So um, I just wanted to know if there is any toolkit or, um, as you mentioned earlier, while you were um, uh, discussing and talking about the uh, the newsletter is there something whereby uh, in the similar manner if if there is some toolkit which a beginner or someone who is trying to start with the app can access so that uh, for that person the experience becomes easier and uh, that person uh, knows the how to navigate in the app and also through the whole movement yeah this is, that, is a really good it, question yeah so. Yeah, so the first one is, rest assured, the app, it's like a user-friendly interface app. So if the user just opened the app and spent only five minutes trying to figure out how to search, how to save an article for an offline reading so that um, there will not be need for an internet connection all the time and you just can save the article and read it later for you, for example, or to find that the nearest places article for you on the ground, you just need five minutes to go through all over the um, the features that the app can present. And the second tool is the FAQ page that we have, and I'm gonna send you the links for both iOS and Android ones. In this FAQ page, it explains in details and in, in screenshots um, how the user can reach some specific features in the app. So this link is for iOS users and I'm getting you the Android one right now. All right. Thank you, Amal. I think personally, I'm going to use it. And the link that you're sending it, I'll explore that as well. So thanks uh, for this. And uh, because we have time and people, if you have any question, any queries, and anything that is coming to your mind uh, through the discussion that we are having, please feel free to um, speak about it, write about it, and reach out to Amal, as she has mentioned her email address as well. So I'm hoping that uh, this experience of the conversation is helpful for everyone who is here in the meeting. For me, personally, it's really interesting to know the new insights that uh, Amal you're giving through this uh, discussion. Thank you, Afaf. It's my pleasure really to be here. Um, I'm really interested in the work that you're doing. Uh, I found out that the name was, wasn't like normal name for me at the beginning. So I read more about this and I'm really supporting the work that you do. And you having me as a speaker, it's, it's really an honor that um, I'm happy to have. Oh, yes. Um, but the thing that you mentioned about the name, uh, it comes across um, for someone who isn't from the part of India, wouldn't know about it. And most of the people uh, that I have met uh, take it with a salt of pinch, the name. So I have yeah. uh, had a few discussions with Afi about it. And I've always asked that, why did you go for it? And he has a vision uh, with, with which he thought of it and went ahead with the name. So I guess uh, the work that uh, we're doing here um, as an affiliate group, uh, compile uh, i mean it goes on with the name as well so let's just hope that the good work percolates as much as possible i'm sure actually that you will do excel in your work and and your vision and what you're working on and trying to achieve actually yeah thank you people we still have um the 15 minutes to go so um anyone if you have anything, please feel free to speak, write, and just um, let the conversa conversation flow. So, so 
So I will be waiting for your comments in written Hindi and Urdu so that I can add these screenshots to the screenshot that I added in the presentation with English and Arabic and Chinese and Japanese um, feedbacks from users. So there is a space for Hindi and Urdu languages too. Uh, so I got just this question into my head. Uh, on, you know, web browser, we have the Wikipedia article wizard uh, for writing articles or submitting drafts on Wikipedia. How does this go on the app? Sorry, I didn't get that question from the beginning, Gaffi. You were asking about editing what? I'm asking about the creation and submission of new articles on Wikipedia. How does yes. this go on the app? So um, it's not now available that you can create um, an, an article from the beginning, like page creation, as we call it in the apps team. It's not available till now. We're working on releasing this feature, and I will make sure to update you that um, it's available once it's available. You can just up update the application from the Play Store or the App Store, and then you'll be able to create new articles through the app. But till now, you have to create the article from the web and then complete the editing from the app if you'd like to. Okay. And this comment is actually something we had from one of our users through the support email a couple of months ago. That's how we knew that this is important for editors to have to create articles through their uh, mobile devices. And here we are working on making this true. Yeah. Uh, so what about participating in the discussions that happen on Wikipedia, like the deletion discussions and others? What's you the experience mean... or? I just want to make sure that I understand the, the question correctly. So are you asking um, on the discussion, um, like on the discussion page on any article or the discussion um, in having this kind of feature in the app? So what I'm asking about is, uh, how, uh, does the app allow a user to comment or to participate in the discussions or including the article deletion discussions? How is the experience with that? Uh, the app allows the user to um, be involved in the discussions on the discussion page or, or on the talk page of any articles. But for the deletion, I'm not sure about this. Um, so I can actually um, ask one of the engineers and deliver the, the final like answer to you, but I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty like positive that users can engage in talk pages now and reply to each other and even receive notifications on your mobile application. If someone commented on your post in the talk page of some article asking for a clarification or asking for uh, the reason why their um, edit was reverted or why this uh, page is like nominated to be deleted or so. Thank you for this. I'm going to deliver your comment to the engineers. And actually, you can find the total number of the edits that you did using the mobile application in your um, editing se section. And you can find that if you are having an Android uh, version, you can find the suggested content as well. Yes, Tafa, if you were saying something. Oh, yes. Um, I just wanted, um, while you were having this conversation, um, I thought of uh, uh, how, uh, like, at the Wikimedia, for example, because most of the people I see prefer just going to various browsers and use the Wikipedia. Yeah. That is my personal experience, talking from my personal experience as well. So, yeah. um I just was wondering uh, how do you or how are you able to retain the users uh, of uh, the Wikimedia mobile apps? It, for example, you've been talking about features, you've been telling uh, the ease of using the app. So uh, are you planning and 
I see that you've been planning a lot of other features to be added to the app. So um, are there any specifics that you would want to highlight here or that could be the plus point in the future for the users to use Wikipedia app rather than going to the browsers? Yes, so what we want to do more beside all of the talk that I have been saying since the beginning of the conversation, and you actually had very good points from this affair, thank you, is reaching out to community users and say, hey, we're here, we're presenting this, um, this app that will make it easier to you to read or edit through using Wikipedia, and you should know about this, you should know that we're hearing for you and we're here for you. So um, most of actually Wikimedia users, especially the ones that I met, and I'm talking from my experience too, by attending different conferences, they don't even know that they can have all of these features in the mobile application. Maybe mm -hmm. they tried the application like six years ago and they think they are thinking like, oh, this is really all the app for us to be using right now. But hey, the app has revolved and evolved since that time to like catch the, the progress that the whole world is um, chasing after. So uh, what we really focus beside all the points that you mentioned and they are really valid ones is to reach out to users in more conferences and in more affiliates and community users and make them know the channels that they can reach out to us by it, by the newsletter, by the support emails, or even my email at the community relation supporting the apps teams to know that they are heard and we're listening to them whenever they talk. Plus, providing all of the essential features that, the, that you mentioned at the, at the beginning of your question. All right, Amal, I think you have put it very well. I'm getting it. And uh, personally, again, I would mention the same that I'm looking forward to using the app. Now that you have uh, discussed, I've got to know new things about it. So for sure, as a volunteer, as an editor, I would love to give it a try, get back to you and give you a feedback on it. Yeah, thank you so <laughs> much for this. And this is actually what we're really looking for. Yeah, I, I'm sure the people uh, who we have today with us are also um, going to at least give it a try and then decide for themselves. And I'm hoping that uh, they would uh, like the experience of using the app. Yes, and I'm happy with the comments that I'm already having from you. And um, it's like any app, it just needs a couple of minutes from you to figure out from where to press to do the X, Y, Z from the features or action actions that you're looking for. So just take your time and getting recognized to the app. And I promise you it's a user-friendly one. I'm here supporting and helping if you needed anything at any time. You have my email, just email me, say, hey, we'd like to find this in the app. Is, is this already out or this is something we need to ask for? And I will help you with this. Yeah, I think we already have a positive comment uh, by user 511, uh, whereby uh, the user says, I loved the edit counter taking a screenshot of my counter. So he or she has, uh, I think, explored already and loves the app. So. Amal, you're getting your positive reply here right now. I'm, I'm happy for this, actually, for these comments. Yeah, thank you. And actually, one of the regions that we're really working on to spread our work, as, as I said during my talk, is the uh, South Asian uh, region and the Sub-Saharan and South Africa regions because not all the newcomers have um, uh, have laptops or have like um, uh, desktop computers that they can learn editing through this and start participating in the knowledge. No, they have phones and let's make it easier to them. You can find all the features that, that you're looking for. And instead of just um, having an extra budget you need to work on and having a laptop, you can do this by your mobile device in your way actually to your university or work or even in the transportation going to a doctor appointment, like one of the um, volunteers said from Africa. Oh, yes, I'm sure. And the point that you raised out about uh, these regions, I think, uh, again, uh, the opportunities and uh, 
the access to technology becomes a question and the digital literacy i i think most of the people aren't um, don't have an access to a desktop or a laptop so uh, in that sense i think it would be easier for retention of the users and for them to uh, be the participants in the knowledge sharing process yeah and i know that we have only three minutes so i'm gonna share this quickly do you know how we added the feature of saving article for offline reading it was a feature suggestion from an indian teacher who sent us email saying that um, she creates an, um, an articles sections or, or reading list based on the subject that she was teaching to her students. And not all of them have um, access to internet connection when they go back to home and they need to read the article. So she was asking if we can do something in order to make it easier for her students to be able to save them the articles uh, while they are having internet connection and a school to read it later while they are at home without no internet connection um, by just being um, this initiative person for this feature. Now, thousands of users all over the world from all the continents are using saving offline feature. They just save the article for offline reading and then they have it for all the time. They can reach out to it later and read, actually take notes and do whatever they want to do with this article. So and just take one step. Um, as I see that uh, we are, uh, I think we, we don't have enough time now, two minutes to go. Uh, so uh, I see that we need to close uh, the conversation for tonight, but I'm sure the ideas will remain and people can always, re uh, the audience members can always reach out to Amal. She has shared her email address and as well as to the Debun Community Wikimedia, we'll share our email to you. If you have any queries, any questions regarding today's um, presentation today's discussion please feel free to reach out to us and now um, please uh, join me in thanking amal for this outstanding presentation uh, the conversation was really enriching and insightful um, and personally i loved listening to every bit of it so thank you for your time amal and i hope to see you again sometime um, Thank you so much, Arif. Thank you so much. And thank you, thanks to everyone who is attending the, this conversation. And I'm looking further to meet you soon, inshallah. Inshallah. I was just going to extend my thanks to everyone in the audience who have joined us tonight. And a special thanks to the DCW uh, team. And uh, sorry for the glitches that happened in the starting. I think we have sorted it out. We have the recording. And I hope uh, people will be able to access this uh, conversation later on as well. So um, thanks once again, everyone. We are looking forward to seeing you all in our next conversation hour, which will be in the month of April. See you all. Have a good night. And thanks for tonight. Bye. Bye-bye.